Today we've got the NROC EKMSW35, EKMSB35. This uh, particular unit is available in two colors, W being the white, B being the black. This particular model is white, tightly packed. You'll see all the major accessories, universal mini box speakers, which are directional. We've got mounting hardware, instruction manual, and dual speaker lead connections. You notice each one of these speakers has a universal, what they call a U-shaped bracket. These allow you to mount these pretty much on a wall or underneath the dashboard, you know, prior to your installation. You'll physically take this unit and you'll position it you know, in the pre-designated area where you want to have the install. And then you could always pitch the speaker in any given direction that you want. So these particular models are a two-way. It's got a mini uh, dome tweeter and also a 3.5 inch mid-bass to provide a full range sound. The universal bracket will pretty much mount to the side and it comes with the pre-threaded bolts to allow you to position it as a top, a vertical, horizontal, a uh, wide variety of installations and you could actually gauge the depth on it as well because of the dual mounting holes. So if you want it further from the wall, you'll use the first mounting hole. If you want it closer to the wall, you'll use the second and uh, it allows you to position it to and from the wall, you know, in a multitude of different applications. In the package, what you're going to get is four universal mounting bolts. These are hand threaded and these are what's going to physically attach the speaker to the housing itself. So you would kind of line those up and thread those into the side. And once threaded, that's what's going to secure the unit. That's what's going to secure the unit to the U-shaped bracket and allow you to physically pitch it wherever you need it to be. So now that's, that's relatively tight, we could angle this onto the wall as shown. We could turn it. We could position it forward. We could have it on a specific side profile, right, left being universal. There's no specifics to that and it's actually channeled on the top and on the bottom. So you can physically pass your speaker wire from the top and bottom and not interfere with, uh, with the mounting. Um, these particular models, they also feature a secondary mounting, which is on the back. They call this like a standard picture frame hook. What you'll do is, in an application like that, you wouldn't even utilize these threaded bolts. It would be completely clean of that. Over here we have our universal mounting hardware. This is for use with uh, picture frame hooks in the back. We would thread this into the given desired area. We'll take two of these out. Two is all we need for each speaker. And we would actually position and hang the speaker from the designated post. So you would kind of slide those into place and we'll have a pre-threaded mounting location if we didn't want to use the adjustable moving unit. This is an alternate one, which some people choose to go with for a cleaner application or cleaner install. In the package, you're going to receive two wired speaker lead connections. Uh, from there, they're color-coded, red being positive, black being negative, speaker terminals themselves are color-coded, black being negative, red being positive. You'll notice that they're spring-loaded terminals, so what we do is we push down on them, we'll insert the wire, and we'll release. And it's as simple as that. You can tug on the wire. It's not going anywhere. Red one, we'll insert, push down, lock in place. This particular wire is already locked in. It's wired, ready to go. We would take the opposite end connection, connected to our stereo, 
and we'd have our full audio output.